Another thing I can do with templates is include a template into another. So by that, you're just taking the contents of one template and injecting it into another template. So what I'll do to demonstrate this is I'll create a new file. I'll call this include this.html. And I'll put something really simple like this has been included. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the include statement beneath my image but before the end of the block so we can actually see it and I'll say include and then include this.html and that's simply going to take everything and include this this has been included and add it so right now there's nothing underneath the image but if I refresh I now see this has been included so not only can I inject the contents of the included template into this main template, but I can also use the variables that I have access to in the main template in the included template. So to demonstrate this, I'll say the name is, and then I'll pass a name because I am using the name variable. And let me just make this an H2. I'm using the name variable, so I'll be able to see the name. And in this case, I need to pass along a name. And it is default, so I'll just use default. So this has been included. Now if I refresh again, I say this name is default. So that is exactly what I want to see because I'm not including a name in the URL. So the name should be default. So just know that you have access to the variables in the file that you're including and that everything in the included file just gets directly inserted into the template that you are including it in.